this is my trans rage book. Hi, I'm Alex. This is Pugs and Paperbacks, and I'm bringing back the writing vlogs. I have been not doing a lot of writing this year, but I'm going to catch you up to speed in this video. And I decided to kick off the vlog today, Sunday, October 23rd, because today I will be attending Ray Stovey's writing class. It's free. It's just for today. It's called Big Feelings Writing Realistic Teen Characters, and I'm so excited. I signed up for this back in August, and it is approaching and I'm super excited, a little bit nervous. So in this vlog, I will document my experience taking their class and also update you on some writing things and a little NaNoWriMo project I want to start. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I've taken the writing class, so let's go over all of my thoughts. I want to reflect on it because I had a lot of fun and I did learn a lot of good tips that I am going to incorporate in my revisions and just further on as I write YA characters. So the approach to this class was to channel your inner teenager and just go back to being a teenager and think about those memories. The way Ray approached this class was we all channeled our inner teenager and just went back to being a teenager and I really had to rack my mind because I graduated high school in 2013 but my high school experience was a little bit longer because I repeated ninth grade. I basically did ninth grade in two different schools and so I honestly couldn't remember a lot. So in terms of memory, I was lost in some exercises because I could not for the life of me remember. For the sake of memory, I was able to really just remember special times in middle school or high school, but also my memory deceived me in some parts of the exercises because I could not remember an important memory from when I was my character's age. So the whole class was just looking at yourself in the eyes of your character, if that makes sense. So thinking about where you were when you were your character's age. And I think that is such a great tip. If we're talking about Breaking the Ice or any of my books that are YA or set in high school, a lot of my characters are 17. And so I had a really hard time remembering what it was like when I was 17. I had to do some math to figure out what year it was but once I came up with the year I could not remember unless I like go on Facebook or something that's the only way I'm going to remember so sometimes it was really hard but I really love those exercises and I think when I'm stuck and thinking about what Gabe would do in a certain situation, I will definitely be doing that. So let's go over some of my notes. I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm just going to go over some things I took out of it. I don't want to diminish the class because it was really awesome and I kind of hope that there's more in the future like this hosted by any LGBT author. In the class we went over excerpts of YA novels and we analyzed them and then we did some writing exercises that Ray had for us. For the class, we had to bring in two things. We had to say our favorite YA book. I chose Icebreaker because of course I did. And we had to bring a song that catapults a high school memory. I chose Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy. In high school, I was a very big Fall Out Boy and Paramore fan. I started becoming a Fall Out Boy fan in middle school. It was one of my first concerts. I went when I was 12. I have a lot of memories associated with that song and the band. And so what we did is we were given some writing exercises after we read each excerpt and analyzed it. And we had to write from the perspective of us as a teenager. I'll just share one of my favorite writing exercises we did and actually the hardest one. And this was to free write about yourself at your protagonist's age. And I have a lot of 17 year olds and I, for the life of me, cannot remember a memory that was actually good. It doesn't mean you had to write a happy memory, but it was really hard for me to figure out what I was feeling like at 17. But in the end, I got a really good one. We wrote for 10 minutes for each exercise and Ray gave really good advice. And the one that stuck out to me the most was to think about your character's core beliefs. And so what I'm going to do for the next week is put my characters together for every work in progress that I have. 
only three, and I am going to write down their core beliefs. And this will really help to build the character and really find out what their motive is and how they will change throughout the book. And just thinking about a time when your core beliefs were wrong and you had to correct them. Just being a teenager, that's always going to happen, even if it's just that you think that no one believes in you and you have to change your mindset on that. I think that is such a great tip and it is something I didn't think about before. So over the next couple weeks, I'm going to create the core beliefs, but I'm also going to try and do some more writing exercises where I pull from my real teenagehood and see if anything sticks or honestly, if I can remember anything. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever taken a writing class and if you think they're beneficial or not. I definitely want to take more, so I'm going to see if I can find any in my area because I think that too will help me be more motivated. Maybe I can find some writing groups or something like that. We'll see. As I'm waiting for my coffee to brew, let's talk about my outline because I did start an outline and I am so happy with what I have so far. I'm not going to tell you everything because I want it to be a little secret because who knows what is going to happen with this work in progress because I already have a work in progress that I really need to work on. So this is my coffee shop book. It has a trans lead and we are pulling from I wish you all the best. I have a lot of inspiration that I'm taking from that book and this is also going to be set in college. And it's just me trying to pour out some of my feelings about when I went to college and a lot of things that happened and I'm kind of pouring that into a character because I just think it's therapeutic for me. I think I've been away from college long enough to finally be able to write this story and it's something that means a lot to me and I'm really glad I finally am pursuing it. <laughs> so this is my trans rage book. I'm so excited. You know I love trans rage books. If you follow me consistently on this channel, I love them so much. So why not write my own? I'm so excited. I'm really loving what I have so far. I had this idea a couple years ago and I wrote it down and then, well actually no, I had a dream and it came to me. Basically, it was like this guy walks into a coffee shop and he's a photographer and a girl sees him and is like, hey, I like photography too. And then I was like, hey, there we are. <laughs> that's, that's what's happening here. But the outline is coming together. I'm using the 27 chapters outline and I don't know if I will really use that, but I'm just forcing myself to use an outline because I didn't do that when I first started breaking the ice. I am such a pantser, but I realize after I write a first draft, then it's a jumbled mess and I have no idea what the hell is going on. So to make things easier for future me, I am doing an outline. It's not very detailed, but I'm glad that I finally am just getting it together. So I was struggling the last couple of weeks and just the last couple of days because I was like, I don't know what my B story is going to be because I have my A story, but then I'm like, okay, what happens after that then? And I've been taking daily walks and they have really helped me with inspiration. I just walk around the block and everything comes together, which is amazing. So finally yesterday, I got my B story. So that means my outline can continue because I was like, well, I don't know what my conflict is. I don't really know what my funny games are. So I really need to just do more research. The problem is because I'm a pantser, a lot of the details come to me as I write. So I might just have to not add something somewhere, like the fun and games might have to be blank for now. And then once I write it, hopefully the fun and games will come to me and I can just put it in later. So the outline probably isn't going to be completely finished, but I just want to have something down that I can pull off of because I have the idea, but I need to actually execute it and have a beginning, middle and end, like a book. <laughs> so my coffee just finished and I was able to tell you some of the things that have happened. I'm actually going to a writing group this weekend, so I will see you after that. Hello, it's November 22nd and I am here to update you on my writing. I went to the writing group twice 
there was two events that were really close to me, so I ended up going. And basically, this is run through NaNoWriMo based on your region. And I had so much fun, and this is going to be a monthly thing for me now. I'm so excited that I went. I had such a great time. I finished my outline. I was using the 27 chapters outline, but every time I use it, I realize it just doesn't apply to me. The first writing session was at a coffee shop I really like, and during that, I finished my outline, but I actually ended up changing over to the Save the Cat beat sheet, which I should have just started with in the beginning. I don't make good decisions, but I learn from them time and time again. <laughs> then last Saturday, there was another writing session at a library in the morning. So at 10 a.m., I went over to the library and I started writing. So as of today, I have written 4,000 words and I'm really proud of it. I'm really enjoying it. At first, I was scared because I haven't written a new thing in a long time, like over a year. And so it's always scary to start a new project, but just as I started writing, the words were flowing and it was really a great time. So as of now, I'm writing a new story and I'm really excited about it. I went to a writing group and I am having a lot of fun writing at the moment. Reading, not so much. <laughs> it's not really happening, but I'm really glad I did this and it's going to be a monthly thing. So maybe my next vlog, I will talk more about it. We also might start planning a writing retreat. So that'll be really fun. So I'm really glad that I started this vlog and I'm back to writing. If you're writing, let me know in the comments. If you're doing NaNoWriMo, how is it going for you? Let's just catch up about writing in the comments. And even if you don't care about writing, just leave an emoji down below so I know that you stayed. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will be back with another writing vlog very soon. I'm just gonna do them here and there. They're not gonna be a monthly thing or anything like that. That's it for me today. I just wanted to update you and talk all about writing since I haven't done that at all this year. So I'm hoping to work on more next year. I don't have a lot of goals, but maybe I'll make a video about it. We'll see what happens. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel when you do so and it helps other people be able to find my channel because YouTube doesn't like when I make writing content. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you wanna hear more about my writing, feel free to hit subscribe because I guess I'm back making writing content. It's a lot of fun. And so as I keep writing, I will update you. Hopefully I'll have another vlog next month or maybe in January. We'll see what happens. Let's talk in the comments and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.